So now, for the past few months, I've been sharing a very personal story of my granddaughter, Scarlett, and her battle with spinal muscular atrophy right and your efforts to smash SMA. It's a genetic condition that robs her and thousands of other children of their strength. Now, as many as one in every 6,000 children is born with SMA. There is no cure yet. But as I'll tell you tonight at 10, there is, or 11 rather, the cure appears to be here. Jace Dorer of Royal Oak is in clinical trials in Chicago for a drug designed to cure SMA. And his mother is convinced he is getting better quickly. So tonight I talked to the doctor in charge of developing that drug about the frustration of having a cure so close, yet still years away from approval. Uh, it is frustrating. Um, it, it, because this does take so much time. And, and the parents and, uh, and grandparents of these infants and children hear that clock ticking. So do we. We hear it. I've been doing this for almost 40 years now, and this is a medicine that's moved faster than any medication I've ever been involved in, and it still seems so slow. Well, now that we're getting so close to a cure, it's even more important to keep the attention on SMA. The Smash SMA campaign I started this summer continues to pick up speed. You know, we've seen the likes of Jimmy Kimmel, the governor, the, the lieutenant governor. Yeah. We've had some soap opera stars and just a ton of people all over the world smashing things, including you. I did. Who neatly smashed fruit and made a smoothie. <laughs> but it was so Joanne and so perfect. I thought I'd smash something else, though. I've actually been thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I know I already smashed one thing, but uh, you can smash so anyways, more. the wheels are turning. All right, so I won't smash be so neat this time. Put it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram with hashtag SmashSMA and right. help out the cause and get that cure moving. Yeah. That's for sure. So